Hey everybody, it's me, Pam Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Um, a couple of videos ago, I showed you this this specimen card that I had made. Right? Oops, sorry for the glare. Um, and I said that I had seen this done uh, by a woman, and her channel name is. Let me get this right. this Chinook yard or Chinooki yard I don't know I watched her do it and I said she had done it with a craft knife and cut this and I tried this and it, I did get it done but it wasn't the simplest thing I had ever done I don't know which is the best paper to have behind this white or the black but since um, I did this one and I kind of finished this one out. That's a little um, piece of ephemera from a Tim Holtz pack. So I did that one, and I had one of my one, one person ask me if I would show how I did it. Well, I'm going to show you how I figured out how to do it without a craft knife. And it not, and, and probably as, as bad a job as I did cutting this out with a craft knife, it's probably going to turn out about the same, even with its warts. Now, I did do a couple of others. I did this one. And I did this one using, all I did was I cut it a different size. And I just used, I put it through my machine and I just used this square. Actually, it's got a, a um, the stitch on it. And I have the pieces over here. It has the stitching on it, but... I didn't, you know, the stitching's not going to show because you're just cutting out a square. And I did a square one. Just that. And I did with the... Hang on a second. I need a white piece of paper. I thought black would be better, but black is not better. And I seem to never be ready. There we go. White's better. <laughs> okay, there you go. And this is the second one I did. I have done no decoration. I haven't put the little... You know, the little doodad on the corner of this one. but And it's almost the same size. I cut it a little bit shorter because I was doing a square instead of a rectangle. And this paper is just some paper that I had left over that actually had something already printed on it. And uh, when I cut the squares out, see, it's got something on the back of it. But I was able to use that scrap. So I've been practicing with my scrap. This, I told you, was um, scrap of paper from the uh, Recollections old pad from, I think, 2013 called Habitat. And if you look really close, it's got f oh, flowers and butterflies on it somewhere. But, see, right there, butterflies. But this one was just plain paper, and I inked it before I glued it together. I inked it, because see how this is how it, you just fold them like this. And uh, I inked it. And I stamped on it. And this is a stamp. It's one of those ones that the backing doesn't even stick anymore. Or it's super sticky, depending on the humidity. And it's just a script. Nondescript script. <laughs> and I don't even mount it. I just stamp it in my ink and I just do that. Alright, so then this was the second one that I made. Really simple. Just trying stuff out. You know, trying. There is a front and a back. Just trying it out. And then I just sat down here and I said, let me try a circle punch. And I did this one. This one. I did this one. And it's kind of light. I just did uh, the white flowers. Yellow. And this one was... Some of that uh, scrap of paper from that habitat. But it's got... it's It's barely... You can barely see anything on it kind of shadowy. It's about, I don't know, 4.30. My cats are going to be bugging me soon. The only thing I would say was, hey, uh, I got a little fold in it right there. I don't know if you can see how it's kind of pinched. Got a little fold in that. But still worked out. I mean, not really hard. A little rough. At, oh, my paper cracked because I, uh, I forgot to um, score it. But this one I scored. Cut it out the same way. And a circle punch I used was... 
the diamond dies and it was the one two three four I think it was the fifth one I think it was the fifth one yeah that's the one I used and if you cut your paper wider you can use a bigger circle and make a bigger uh, specimen okay that's the one I used there the the square was from um, a set that I got for free for trying out BB craft is that what it is BB craft it was one of their dies. So anyway, and on this particular one, I use I did use those um, um those envelopes. And see, I can get another one out of that. I can get a wider one out of that. I think. All right. But on this particular one, I actually used. When I opened up a package of one of these, uh, my flowers, I opened up the package wrong. So I just used the packaging. So if you have packaging like this laying around, you can use that. Because that's what I use to make this one. So if you have it and you don't have the envelopes, then you, do, you can just, if you have some of this packaging, like a bunch of stuff comes in, then you can use that because that's what this one was made out of. Okay, kind of using stuff I have and scraps and here comes a cat <laughs> so what I was gonna do was I was and I had these cut out what is about three three by four and this one I used a, excuse me she just made herself at home Lily you can't be here honey down 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 you go there you go I used a I don't even know what this one is I don't even know what the measurements on that that one is um, probably nothing spectacular. Three, three and a quarter by two, uh, two uh, what? Almost two and a half. Let's just say that. So, and I can use this one again. But I did these. Are I think these are three, three by four, three by four. Yeah, four and then th three inches wide. And you can see where it's, it's, everything's fine, except over here, there's that white spot where I didn't get it cut just quite right. Even though I use a cut, who, who has, who has a cutter? Please tell me that cuts straight every time. But, uh, whenever I get everything in here and before I finish inking the edges, I'll just cut that off. Because sometimes when, when you put the... I noticed on these ones that I did, um, sometimes when you put this stuff underneath and there's like three layers of the sticky tape, it'll actually throw it off a little bit. And I did ink all my edges with Vintage Photo. Okay. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to cut a piece, and I'm going to show you how I double cut by cutting once and then dropping it back down and cutting again. And they weren't perfect, but I trimmed them up with my scissors. And you know what? It's just as good as if I had used the craft knife, which I suck at. I believe I stated that earlier. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how I cut these. These circle easy. This one, make them smaller. You can cut them any, kind, any size square that you want. But if you want them a little bit like a, a rectangle, you got to... If you don't, if you have rectangle dies, fine. I don't have rectangle dies. So I'll show you how I did it using what I had instead of going, you know, and buying something. Okay. Just, we're going to pick out a piece of paper here. Uh, let's, I don't know, green. I used that. There's some pink. I did the red, and I did this. This this was a scrap that was already cut. Let's see if I can find something already cut. This one's already cut. Let's just use this scrap. Okay. All right, I'm going to cut it down to... Well, let me see. I may not be able to use that one. Yes, I can. It's an eight. Because to get four inches this way, you cut it eight, and then just double it over. So I'm going to cut this down to three by eight, and I'll be right back. And it's three, and it's already eight. All right. 
Almost. Let me cut it. Almost. Just a little past eight. Okay. Now it's three by eight. Now, I got my little, my little scoreboard, and if I'm out of frame, I'm sorry because uh, the camera's overhead, and I'm going to score it at four. Right there. Just like that. And I'm going to bend it over, and you saw, they're just never right. Look, I put that right on the cutter, and it's, and it's off. And I have a really good cutter, but I've had it for a long time, so I think it's out of adjustment. So I just do it like that. Like I said, I'm not going to do anything there until I get it actually cut. All right, let me get my, my uh, big shot. Big shot of head forever. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it on this side, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to put it down here. And I'm just going to eyeball it, like right about there, I think. And I'm just going to put a little piece of tape on it to hold it where I want it. A little bit of washi. Okay. And this part, everybody knows how to do. Right? It's kind of thick. That paper's really thick. Okay, let me see if I got it. If I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. All right. And you could just go from here if you wanted to. Like I said, if you only have a square die and you don't have rectangles. This is what I did. I literally did this. I put it in there again just a little bit further down. A little bit further down like that. And I put it in there. And it's like almost right where I wanted it and I just did this no, you couldn't see me see, I just lined it up best I could to see where it's probably gonna cut and I just did that stuck the tape on it this worked once lickety split and the next time I did it, it did not work very well but I'm just want to cut a little bit more off like I said it I need to invest in some rectangle dies I guess Either that or learn how to use a craft knife better. <laughs> I mean, those craft knives, they got me stymied. Okay. And then just take that off. And you got it. Just And you got a rectangle. That worked pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I've used this little piece of tape, I don't know, four or five times already. Six. And then that doesn't... Okay. I'm going to lay that right over there. But now you have a rectangle. And they're probably and they're not all going to be the same. Yeah. Oh, it was pretty close. Okay, put this away out of my way. Now, okay, here I come with my chair again. <laughs> now, what I did was I, um, I inked the edges before I stamped. I inked the edges, and I did open it back up to ink the edges and get them. Inked up. Hmm. You don't have to ink if you don't want to. Okay. And this is really, I mean, you don't have to decorate it or anything. And I have yet to use that, that piece over here that I spent all that time, you know, inking and drying and all that. Because I just think this is an easier way to do it. Okay, so that's like that. And I did go around and do the edges. And again, I opened it up because it's like just easier. And I will have to ink again because um, of that one that's not quite right. And I just inked all the edges. Fairly good. You can do it after. I did it before. To, to kind of make sure they got good. Because sometimes if you try to ink something after it's been done, the white will still show. And actually, I actually went in there and did the white side too. This is boring. But you see that if I, I made do with what I had by using that squared eye and um, 
and just cutting twice. And like I said, I got pretty good cuts out of that. I don't know which way. I don't know which one I'm going to use. I am going to show you that I'm going to stamp that, but I'm not stamping it with Distress Ink. Distress Ink, it leaves a distressed look. You don't want that. Okay. That's what I did. This might be a little bit longer video. Since this is already kind of pretty on that side, I'm going to stamp on this side. I'm always afraid the cats will get in here and pop the tops off my ink and it'll dry out, so I just always put the rubber band on them. So I just do like this. I put this and then I go like that and I'll just go like that. You can put as much or as little as you want. I'm not inking. Okay. See? Okay. Now we got that done. Hope I was in frame. I'm a little bit far away, but it is what it is. Okay. And this one, see, I'm not going to, I may ink a little bit on that one whenever I do that one. Okay. Here comes the interesting part. That's kind of, it took the ink strange. Okay. I'm going to use, where is it? Oops. I lost them all. There it is. The other part of the, the these are card cellophane card holders. What they are, right? And open it up. You can move this if you want to. Uh, open it up, and you're gonna need to cut the bottom out of it. But you just kind of eyeball it, and then you just cut, cut it like that. And I don't even know if I got it straight or if I got it too narrow. My, oh, I almost got it too narrow. All right. And then I need to cut one of these. I need to cut like that. And probably a little bit off of the, a little bit off the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I almost got it too narrow. You need a little bit more than, more than that. Okay, but it's going to work anyway. You want to pick a front and a back. I want this to be my front. Okay, then you get out this tape. And my cardboard, or my, yeah, I won't stay in there. So, and I just, I put it kind of close to the edge. So it'll hold real good right there, close to the opening. how to tape. That cardboard's coming out and aggravating me. There, cardboard came out. Alright. I never was good with this tape. I've seen so many people just go right at it and get it just perfect really fast. Not me. Okay. Alright. Kind of smooth that down. pick it up and this is the fast way like I said I watched the Shinoki art and she she just she I know I don't know how long because she speeded up and everything but she did hers uh, with regular cardstock and did all kinds of you know inking and spraying and, and they turn out really pretty but it's like I don't know if I have that kind of time I'm gonna remove this now and then make sure you got your things the right way. And I've found it easier to do it like this. And then you put that on there. Like that. And don't be like me and get a cat hair in it. Okay, so now I've got that. It's laid down the first, first layer. And I do see some stuff on there. You kind of make sure you raise this layer up. And I'll put something on there to hold that down. And then you pick what kind of flower you're going to have. Am I still in frame? I am. And then you pick what kind of flower you want. And this is already kind of flowery. I think I'm going to use the pink one. I don't think I've used pink yet. And I, somebody asked me where I got these flowers. I couldn't tell you. And I didn't even think to go on my account. It, I got them on Amazon and share the link. Because... 
I'm just not that organized. And these stick together. Oops. There's the... I don't know. How about some... Uh... These are carnations. I don't want to take too much time doing this. And then we got some little ones. How about we do... Since this one's going fairly well, how about we do a couple? Okay, so get up. you want to face them up. So you can, like, maybe that. And, I don't know, let me see. No, that's too much. Something a little more delicate. There's some roses. There's roses. Maybe that and a rose. Maybe that and a rose. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm going to put this one down first. You kind of have to roll them. But they are clear. Roll them. Roll, 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 roll. There, I got it started. All right. And they're long. You can cut them if they're too long, or you can just go with it. And I'm going to put that right there. And just let them hang down. And then the rows. Okay. Roll them off of there. Okay, and this has little thorns and everything. These are really pretty. Yeah, there, like that. Okay, then what you do is you got to hold that back again. I know, it takes forever. And I'm trying to go as quickly as I can. I don't even know what time I've got going. And again, you got to put this stuff down because you got to glue this, these two things together now. All right. Like I said, I put it pretty close to the edge because I want it. I want the the plastic basically to like be together, um, stay close together on the edge. Whoops, didn't get that one very straight. It's all right. Nobody died, and the world didn't come to an end. Okay, yes. Off. I was sitting back here this afternoon doing those other ones and I was listening to my um, Alexa app on my Kindle Fire and all I did was ask her to set, I said, Alexa, play music. And I listened to some of the best 1960s classic rock. I mean, the Mamas and the Papas, Jefferson Airplane, it was awesome. Yeah, I'm old. I'm so thankful that I was young whenever the really good music was made. Okay, and then I kind of do this. I come here and I like push it from this side. Kind of make sure it doesn't wrinkle. And that last one, it wrinkled pretty good. All right. Okay. This is my front right there. That's the front. Okay. And now you got to do the glue one more time. And need to do it here. One more time. There are all kinds of tape. I think this what I'm using, I really like it. it it's 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 a very good is it's the scrapbook.com brand and I like it a lot. And you can put this anywhere to hold these pieces together. Yeah, I put one more down here to get it really good down here. Okay. All right, and again, like I said, it's not hard. It's just time consuming, and you use you use a pretty good amount of tape. Okay, oh, come on. I'm sorry if it's long. I'm normally long-winded. My garden videos are some of my longest, but. Like I said, I wanted to give credit where credit is due. A lot of people do this. I think Shabby Dabby Doodah does uh, one of these. Maybe uh, Gail Agostinelli. Um, a lot of people do these. I'm doing it to show you. If I can do it, anybody can do it. This kind of looks weird. That kind of looks burned. But, and you go through. Oops, I need to check that white space. 
I'm going to get out my longer scissors. And it may make it a little bit crooked, but if somebody puts a micrometer on that or whatever you call it, measure very small, they can kiss my fanny. It's mine. All right, so there you go. And that's how you do it. You can just use regular scrapbook paper. You don't have to go through all of the, you know, the tea dyeing or spraying and inking and everything. You can get some pretty nice ones out of just regular scrapbook paper. And I don't know which one looks best. Regular scrapbook paper and a little bit of inking. And, um, you know, and you cut with the, the die cuts. You don't have to use the knife, right? That's on the black, and this is on the white. Honestly. Right? I know. Pat myself on the back, Pam. You did a great job. Anyway, there's my little tutorial. Ashley, I hope you enjoyed it, and anybody else that might have watched. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time, and I will talk to you later. Bye.